Hello all, uh, we are back in the shop um, for the VIP project, the, the, the wheel golf cart. Um, so the design we created um, give this result. Uh, to finish the product, uh, we need to um, to drill and to uh, to insert uh, two rings uh, like those two one. So this one is a <coughs> small one, the thickness is uh, about 5 mm and this one is about 10 mm. Uh, the smaller thickness get inside uh, the biggest one and the, the results uh, obtained in this one. Now we have to, to drill uh, here the external wheel and to, um, to be sure that uh, the, the wheel uh, will work properly uh, we need to adjust the height of the hub. So uh, we have to take measurements on a previous wheel uh, with a caliper. And if I use this one that that I obtained and, mm, on the wheel is around um, half an inch, uh, maybe for 15 millimeters uh, on the caliper. And if you can uh, read it. So 50 millimeters, and uh, if I put uh, the rule here that I um, gauge here is about 20 millimeters. Uh, so we need to adjust the height with five. So take the measurement here, go down, clicks OK, and we have around 20 millimeters. So uh, we need to put um, a gauge block under this one, about uh, five millimeters, uh, to adjust the height of the hub in this way. Then uh, we will have to um, to drill uh, the wheel and to make some taping operation on the three brackets, and then the wheel uh, will be uh, joined and secured to the hub. And uh, the last remaining operation um, will. We have to work to deal with the, this little neck here. I'm not very satisfied about the rolling operation, but um, maybe with some grinding, uh, I can remove the, the, the flats area. So I'm not very concerned about that. And uh, after that, um, I will have to make a groove there uh, with the, the CNC machine. And the groove uh, will maintain uh, the tire of the wheel. And um, so we will see. Uh, during the, the manufacturing. For an accurate uh, drilling, uh, we need to be sure that uh, the height there uh, is, is very good and uh, is consistent. So I use a height gauge uh, that you can see like this one, a precision height gauge. So um, I, I make um, the setting for, for the good height. Then uh, there is some trace here on the part. And I do the same also for the, for the remaining side of the hub. Uh, maybe you can see the trace here also. And, and the remaining one is, is just here. Uh, maybe you can see the trace here. And then just have to uh, figure out where is the center uh, of the bracket. And then to, cent um, to center punch uh, the two the two drill and then uh, it's a simple drilling operation. So for the drilling operation I use the, the drill press uh, to my, uh, my big drill press that you can see here. And uh, the setup is made um, on, a, on a wise uh, the vise is here in blue and um, the part is secure with some um, uh, fixtures, uh, so there is two fixtures to be sure that uh, uh, everything is okay. Uh, <clears throat> and also, maybe you can see the trace here and uh, the center drill uh, I made I already made uh, on the on the drill press. So um, everything is secure. Uh, the screw there and there for the vise are secure, and also the fixture on the part secure. The remaining thing is just to. Uh, Close the cover and to make the drilling operation.
so the first uh, hole is done and now I can drill to the to the good size and to make also the chamfer. So for the screw and the head screw especially, uh, I made a chamfer and uh, where the the screw can get inside. You can see that, so the size is okay. And uh, I use a, a simple drill bit. It's a 11 millimeters uh, drill bit that create a shape for the head screw. So after the drilling operation and the head screw chamfer, and uh, just a test fit with the screw and to see if it works great. So it's very nice and like that. And then it will be screwed and, and on the bracket so it will be very resistant and very strong. So now um, we need to make a reference point on one bracket. So I add a, a clump, this one, this clump, uh, with a 5 mm, uh, millimeters plate uh, to have the proper uh, height for the hub. So the bracket is installed there and the clump is maintaining the, uh, the plate. And we are just in front of the drill just to make um, uh, a center hole and to have the good position uh, for the starting point of the bracket. So the reference point was drilled on the bracket and uh, I get outside uh, the, the bracket and uh, I hope you can see uh, the reference point there. So it's just okay, uh, not perfectly in the center but uh, it's not very big concern. And, um, and the remaining thing is to, to make the typing operation and then I will put a screw and uh, we'll drill uh, all the other hole and because this one is perfectly a reference uh, with uh, the other part. For the typing operation uh, I use um, a machine, uh, a machine tap and with an equidite shape and uh, it is a 5% of cobalt, so it's very strong and uh, it uh, gives very good results and I avoid uh, to break the tap inside a, inside a thread. So uh, it's a very easy operation. You can see uh, So I do it this way. I also have a, a tapping head that I can put on a, on a drill press but uh, uh, it's sometimes very hard to uh, to find the, the good adjustments and the good setup so I'm just going to get out yeah it's okay so you can see it uh, works very well it's not very hard and uh, I like those tab so uh, uh, if you can buy the same one it's a really a really good tool and uh, you save a lot of time with uh, those things, so let's get out uh, gently. There it is, and make a test with the screw. So here it is. So this one is the reference uh, hole and drill. And so now we can uh, go further with, with the wheel.